Hey team, it is day 11, core and glutes. We're doing 10 moves, two rounds. You're doing 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Warm up and cool down are included. You don't need any equipment except for a mat or a soft surface on the floor. And you can do this workout with or without shoes, up to you. Let's go. Rolling tees. Let's, because we're warming up, we're gonna start in our modified plank position. So knees are walked back a little farther from tabletop. You're gonna open to one side, come into a side plank, center and hold, open to the other side. Now you do have an option if your wrists are a little grumpy, do this from your elbows, opening up and then rolling and opening up. We'll try to do it on the beat. Here it comes, two, one. Here we go, open, your front arm reaches up to the sky, then lower down, hold plank, eight, seven, six, five. Then back arm, reach and open up to the sky. Wake up the shoulders, wake up the core. Come down and hold your plank. Option to be on those elbows. Reach up front arm and I'm straightening out the top leg. Come down, hold modified plank. Wake up the core, back arm reach up. Seven, eight, come down, hold it, hold it. Front arm reach up. Hand or elbow, your choice, hold plank. Woo. Let's get that backside real quick, reach up and rest beautiful okay here's opportunity to take a break roll out your wrist i'm gonna show you what's next bird dog crunches opposite arm opposite leg crunch reach out lower down then switch it crunch reach out lower down here we go two one lift up reach long spine little squeeze back out to tall switch sides extend Squeeze, back out, straight arm, straight leg, lower with control. Now, this is just warming things up. Now the next round, we're gonna work it a little bit more and down with control. I want you to build the muscle memory of opposite elbow, opposite knee, opposite arm, opposite leg. Try to keep your neck nice and long, elbow soft, get even, both sides, same amount of times. Rest, beautiful. Okay, we are headed to our back. Flip it over. We're gonna extend those legs. This is kind of still our warm up. Your option here, just tap the toe like you're scissoring. When you feel a little better, we're gonna go to straighter legs. Make sure your low back doesn't arch. Ready? And we tap. Down, down. And then switch the leg. Switch the leg. Light on the toe. Keep the belly in. Tap. Now you could sit on your hands if you like. I'm gonna start to work towards a little bit of a straighter leg here. Turning on that core. Ooh, if at any time your back starts to arch up off the floor or you feel pain in your low back, I want you to take a break and hug your knees to your chest and then go back into the knee bent version of this, okay? Come on. Finish what you started. Three, two, and rest, hug those knees, quick stretch, roll to one side. We're gonna do our top leg sideline bicycle. Elbow under shoulder, bottom elbow. Top leg's gonna hover, and like you're on a bicycle, you're just gonna pedal forward and back, point and flex. Now, I forgot to tell you, you could do this with ankle weights. Ready? Here we go. Bicycle. But, you know, that sucks. So. <laughs> you could do it with ankle weights, so feel free to throw them on for round two, because now you know all the moves. Now the resistance band wouldn't quite work out well for this workout because of gravity. <laughs> we're gonna use a inner thigh move next and the resistance band would've just helped you with that one, not made it harder. Oh, come on. Nice big circles, point and flex. So I'll give you a little, a little uh, clue. We're doing the inner thigh next. So you're staying on the side, that's the good news. And rest, okay. Slide that bottom leg straight, sole of the back foot to the floor. If this shoulder is getting tired, go ahead and lay down, bicep to ear. We're just gonna lift and lower that bottom leg. Try to shine the inside of your knee to the, to the ceiling of the sky. I'm gonna place my head in my hand for a moment. Ready? Here we go, up and down. Now if this bothers your neck, all the way down. Good, inner thigh work. Super important for knee stability. 
And you can probably feel this in your core, too, as you fight the urge to roll backwards. Woo. Stamp down on that back foot. And so here's the part where ankle weights. If you have one on each ankle, oh, you could really make this workout pretty dang tough. Now, I didn't list those as equipment to use for this program, so that's why I'm not using them in the video. But if you have them, throw them on. It's totally fine. And yes! both knees, glue them together, and then bend them and drop them forward. Roll your chest open to the sky. Fingers are going to be light behind the base of your skull. Elbows wide. You're picking up your chest. Your head of your shoulders come back down. A really hard twisted crunch here. <laughs> here it comes. Three, two, and lift, lower down. So we're crunching, but because your knees are dropped to the side, it's an oblique. Beautiful. Try to keep your neck relaxed. So if you feel this in your neck at all, consider pushing your head backwards into your finger pads. So there's a little bit of cervical flexors turned on there to help fight what's getting fatigued. Oh gosh. <laughs> These ones are tough for me. And I think you have an idea of what we're doing for the next three moves. Because everything we do on one side, we gotta do on the other. And rest. Pick yourself up and swing those legs the other direction. Next side, okay? Bottom knee is bent, bottom elbow under your shoulder. Top leg is hovering. We have a bicycle paddle. And I'm adding that point and flex, just like classic Pilates. Gives a little more activation through the low leg. Ready and on. Bicycles. Good, good. Now, I kept the whole workout on the floor, so we're not going up and down, up and down, because I know some of my viewers don't appreciate floor work. But I made it so that you don't have to go up down, okay? You just stay down. We're doing it all down here. There is some flopping around side to side, I know. This really helps us to use gravity to our advantage. Strengthen muscles that need it. All right. Those outer hips right now. So we're focusing outer thigh. Abduction. And release. Set the sole of the foot down. Shoot the bottom leg out straight. You're going to lift the whole piece. If the shoulder is starting to get tired, here's your opportunity to make a little bicep pillow for your ear. Or you can even place your head in your hands if that's not uncomfortable for your neck. Here it comes. And lift it. And lower. Get the adductors now. Now if you're following along in the 21 day transformation challenge, then this is day 11. If you're just putting this in whatever you're, you know, adding it to one of your other workouts or you're just playing them wherever they pop up in your feed, Cool, that's fine. It can totally be done as a standalone workout. But uh, I put this one after the core or the cardio day because hopefully you're recovered from the strength work we did on day seven. I'm oh, sorry, day eight, day nine, right? Day eight, day nine. Oh, I think Monday, Tuesday in my mind. <laughs> and rest. Drop both knees to me. Stack the hips, stack the knees, and then roll your shoulders back onto the mat. Fingers behind the head, elbows wide so wide you can't even see them as you lift up so you're not bringing your elbows up around your eyes like this okay so it's a twisted crunch here it comes three two and lift lower good good and this workout you could add it on to any of the other workouts on my channel as like a little bonus core burnout Excellent. It's Pilates inspired for sure. There's some moves in here that are from my Pilates certification. Try to keep your chin up off your chest. Yep, yep, we're getting the other two obliques. You have four, two internal and two external. And rest, and then technically they all are on for that move. It's just some are eccentric and some are working on the way up. Okay, here we go. Bridges, you love these. Walk those feet in under your knees, hands by your side. You're gonna lift your hips and then lower your hips. And I want you to move at the range of motion that works for you that keeps your back safe. But we really wanna fire up the glutes. Here we go. Bridge it up and down. Both feet are pretty even here. You could place a nice heavy dumbbell on your hips. 
to add some challenge to this. Good, press your triceps down. Relax your neck. Should be gazing up. So once you know what we're doing, don't look at the screen for this one, look straight up. Keep your neck in alignment. Yeah, even bodyweight bridges can be very challenging if you're doing them really correctly. So really just try to press even into both legs. Excellent, release and take a little hug in those knees, rock and roll yourself to the top. We are fully warm, so for this round, I'm gonna go to my toes for rolling tees. So option here, from the hands. Rolling through plank into side plank, or your option is from the elbows. Also toes, okay, ready, here we go. Reach your front arm up, hold it for eight, seven, six, five. Come back to plank, eight, seven, six, five. Take the back arm up, roll to the edges of your feet, side plank, and then center. Remember, you can put your knees down like we did during the first one, the warm up. I'm gonna try hands, reach up, and center. Eight, hold it, hold it. Other side, reach up, and center. So if your wrists are grumpy, the elbow will be your version. I think like a T right there. And then plank. I gotta do a bonus one to get even. Join me, join me. Side plank. And then we rest. Ooh, nice work. We got bird dog crunches. Okay, we're warm now, so we're gonna kick it up a notch. We're a little bit faster. Up, three crunches. And then lower down. Up, think three, two. All right, here we go. Reach it. Up, three, two, one. Reach up and switch sides. Lift it first, crunch for three, two. Lift up and place it down. Switch sides, up, crunch, crunch. Up, place it down, switch sides. Three per side before you switch. Woo, one more. Lift, place it down. We gotta try to get even here. Three, two, one. Set it down, last side. Three, we gotta go over time, get even. And up, place it down. Ooh, shake it out, flip it to your spine here. We're gonna lengthen those legs to the sky. Round one, we started right here. Round two. We're gonna go for longer levers if your back doesn't give you problems, okay, ready? Here we go, scissors. Now problems mean like you feel strain in your low back. Yeah, if that's happening, bend your knees and maybe even sit on your hands. I want you to make sure you're not arching. Make sure you're missing your core, your abdominals, maybe a little bit of your hips. And I'm getting a little stretch on my hamstrings at the top. I'm not complaining, because I need it. Come on, come on. Almost done. That's only two rounds, it's a short one. Here it comes. Woo. Two, and yes. Roll to one side. Elbow under shoulder. Bottom knee is bent, like a little kickstand. Top leg's gonna hover, and this time we're gonna pedal backwards. Just to challenge your brain a little bit, so backwards bicycle. Top leg is hovering the whole time, ready? Pedal backwards, here we go. Took me a second to figure out which way was backwards. <laughs> See if it's challenging for you. It's good to do new movement patterns. Create new neural correct connections between your mind and your muscles. Good, point and flex with that top foot. If you have ankle weights on, you are a beast, okay? If you remember, we got inner thigh work coming up next, so we're staying on this side. Come on, finish, finish, don't shrug. Two, and one, release. Let's change the way we do our inner thigh lift. So take your top leg across and stretch your bottom leg out long. I'm gonna lay down on my bicep for this one. We're just lifting up and lowering down. If there's pain, switch how you're doing this. We just changed it up, right? Like the neural connections I was just talking about. Here we go. Inner thigh, lift and lower. Let's go. Up and down. You're still going to be working your adductor muscles on the bottom side. 
and you have those ankle weights on, woo, give me a little in the comments. Let me know if you did it with ankle weights. Good job. Halfway. For your breathing. Hold your breath. Here's your last 10. Do it for next week, you. Next month, you. Yes, beautiful. Drag both knees together and bend them. Stack your hips, stack your knees, and then roll your chest to face the ceiling. Fingers behind your ears, elbows nice and wide. We have that twisted crunch again. And I know it looks like I'm really not crunching up very high, but I'm feeling it, okay? This is the range of motion I have today. Ready? Here we go. Lift up and lower. Sometimes you don't need super big movements to recruit muscles. <laughs> Try to keep the chin up off the chest. Don't let the elbows wrap around your head. Try to pick up the top part of your torso straight up to the sky. Excellent. That burn, that's how you know you're alive. <laughs> we feel so alive right now. Three, two, and rest. Oh, pick it up, swing those legs to the other side of your mat. Let's set it up for bicycle backwards. Elbow under the shoulder. Careful that you're not shrugging in here. Bottom knee is bent, top leg hovers. You're just pedaling backwards. You know what it is, okay? Add the point and flex. We're hovering the whole time, ready? And on. your best. The only bad workout is the one you didn't do. So whatever amount that you're able to do here, even if you don't do the whole 40 seconds, that is still to your benefit. Okay, maybe you did 30 seconds and that's okay. Try again. Do this video again next week. You might surprise yourself. Everything got easier. The body adapts. Whatever challenge you present it with, your body's going to adapt. And rest. Okay, so inner thighs. I'm going to slide down. Bicep for a pillow. Top leg comes across this time, if that's okay. If not, you'll go back to what we did the first time, right? So we're going to lift the inner leg, the bottom leg. Shine the inner thigh up to the sky. Whenever the beep happens, <laughs> two. And lift up lower. Up, down. Now, this is not music-based. So you don't have to be on the beat. We're just working for interval. Try to mentally connect to that inner thigh, your adductor. Those are important stabilizers that help you to do those cardio activities that you enjoy. Walking, aerobics, dancing, you name it. These muscles are there to help you in those movements. You want to keep them strong, keep them active, protect those knees. You only have two knees. And rest. Woo, both knees together. Stack them. Stack your hips and then roll your chest to face the sky. Fingers behind your head, elbows wide. Try not to do the elbow version of this crunch, okay? Try to lift the shoulders. Really lead with the collarbones coming up. And that's hard. Ready? And we're on. Excellent. Make sure you let me know in the comments how this workout went for you. Come on, you're almost done. We'll do some lovely, lovely stretching on our mat after the last work interval. The dessert, that's what I call it, right? The well-deserved treat after this work. Good, squeeze the top. Rest, bridges, that's it, that's it, that's it. Come on, feet in, walk them close to your hips, parallel your feet, parallel your knees, arms by your side, straighten out your back. Okay, here it comes. You're gonna just lift up the whole piece and then lower it down, squeezing the backside. Ready, two, and let's go. Lift it, lower. Really strong contraction there. If you want to, place a weight on your hips, 
get a little more out of this, you got more resistance that way. And we've done them in other videos with loops around the thighs. I think we did them that, that way last week in this program. So you could always add that challenge back in. So you can stay present with your bridge right now. Push into both feet. Such an important exercise. Strengthening your glutes can protect your back. And rest, yes. Hug your knees in, give them a nice squeeze. Stretch that low back. Let's rock it side to side. Massage, massage. Be proud of yourself for showing up every day for 11 days in a row so far. Or maybe you skipped a day, that's okay. If you're on workout 11, that's still a victory. Hug one knee in and stretch the other leg out. Kick that foot to the sky, catch your hamstring, point, flex, point, flex, big ankle circles. Hamstring right here, you should be feeling this in the back of your leg. Step your bottom foot in, keep your top foot flexed, cross it over the other thigh, either push it open or reach through. Hug it, figure four, outer hip stretch. Relax your shoulders. Excellent. Release. Uncross it. Let's switch. Other side. Other knee in. Straight leg long. Hug it in tight. And then we'll switch. Kick your leg to the sky. Catch your hamstring. Point flex. Circle, circle. Stretch the ankle. Step your bottom foot in. And we're going to stay flex of the top foot. Open into figure four. Either push the thigh reach through and hug it. Do you, okay? Proud. That after workout feeling, you earned it. Reflecting on what went well for you in that workout. And slowly release. Uncross. Drop your knees to me. Come on up. Sitting tall. Crisscross your ankles. Take your right hand to the floor. Left arm. Stretch it up. Roll your ribs to the sky. Stretch your waist. And we'll switch other side. Hand to the floor. Reach up. Ribs to the sky. Excellent. Let's twist. Reach behind you with your right hand and then catch the opposite thigh with your left hand. Look over that back shoulder. Unwind. Switch it. Other side. Catch the floor with your left hand. Reach across with your right. Look over your shoulder. Beautiful. Slowly face the mat here. We'll bring the knees underneath the hips. Hands under the shoulders. Round cat stretch. Cow tilt. Lift your chest. Lift your heart. And one more. Cat. And cow. Tuck the toes. Push weight into your legs. Lift up your tailbone. Walk your feet to your hands. Soft knees. Roll it up slow. Roll it up slow. Stack everything. Take a big breath in. Inhale. And then exhale. Excellent job today, team. Make sure you hit like and subscribe, comment and share. I'll see you on day 12.